In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how LeanTracker works by showing you the uh, important pages and important components in your LeanTracker account. So when you log into your LeanTracker account, you probably see the default project first. So this is how LeanTracker works. You can create an unlimited number of projects to manage different uh, links and campaigns or ads uh, and that really depends on how you want to uh, separate your links or promotions into different projects. For example, you can create a project for your own products. You can create a project for a client. You can also create a project for affiliate promotions or you can create a project that is specific to one website or one blog. It's really up to you. Now, right from your homepage or from your dashboard in Link Tracker, you would notice uh, in the top navigation, there's dash dashboard, projects, domains, referrals, and help. And then on the right, there should be your name there. And this section has a drop down, and you can click on that. And there are further options here manage plan, view invoices, and edit profile. Okay, so as for creating projects, you can always create a new project by going to clicking on project and click on add new. As for the domain step, this is where you can add your own custom domains into your link tracker account. So you can add as many domain names as you want. You have to purchase them, of course. And you can also use uh, an existing domain name. For example, if you have um, yourname.com and you already have a blog or a website on that, you can create a subdomain and you can also use that subdomain in your link tracker account. Uh, this will be explained in a separate video tutorial about domain names. Next, you can click on referrals. And in this screen over here, you'll be able to refer new users to link tracker. So you have a special referral link and this is unique. You should see your ID at the very end here. And by referring users to Link Tracker, you will earn extra clicks every month. You can click on how it works and you will see that you will earn 5% of the referrals monthly click limit. So if you refer a user that has a million uh, click limit per month, you get 5% of that added on to your existing click limit. So this is one great way for you to increase your click limit in Link Tracker without having to upgrade. Next, you can click on help and this is where you will find all the tutorials and all the guides on how to use a link tracker. Under your name, you can click on manage plan to upgrade or downgrade your account or you can even click here to cancel your account. Next, you should be able to click on view invoices and here you can see all the invoices that you have paid for or invoices that are still pending and unpaid. You can click view to view them and you can also download them in PDF. Okay, now let's go back to the dashboard. So under every project, you should see uh, the quick summary of uh, the important stats for your project. And you should see the most important links over here. Okay, you should see reports, campaigns, links, goals, settings, and sharing. So you can click on reports. And now you notice that there is a separate set of top navigation uh, that is specific to the project page. Let me just show you that again. When you go back to main dashboard, okay, you'll see this set of navigation links. And when you go into a project, it has its own dashboard, starts with the overview, uh, of your campaigns or your project's performance and it goes to campaigns, goals, settings, help and also your normal, your standard uh, links to your profile, invoices and plans over here. Now at any time you can just click on, on uh, the default project or you can click on this uh, item over here. You can go back to the main dashboard and that's where you can see a summary of all your projects or you can click on any of the recent projects. So these uh, items here are sorted by how often you use them. So the project that you viewed the last, I mean, would appear right on top. And all other projects would appear here in alphabetical order. And you can also just click on new project to start a new project. Now, uh, with link trackers, graphs, 
or charts you can click on the date options here to change the view of the date now it's important to remember when you click on whatever option that you see here okay for example let me click on last year so now the statistics show me um, the results or the performance for last year now when you switch to a different project you will still be viewing for the exact time frame that you selected here so it's still at last year and that applies when you go back to the dashboard you will still see the performance for last year and when you log out and log in again you will probably still see the performance for last year and this is how we have chosen to um, enable stats in link tracker because every user has a different preference uh, on the on the time frame or the range uh, that they want to view uh, when they log into their account so remember when you change the uh, reporting time frame it's consistent and it's persistent so when you log out and log in you will see the same data again so if you see that your graph or your charts are blank okay please check the reporting time frame and you can always go back to reports here and you can modify your time frame over here okay so that's all for this video where i hope that i've given you a brief introduction of how to navigate through your link tracker account thank you very much